How do I pick a gearbox for FRC? On this channel, we've covered how to use a gearbox to change speed and torque, but there are a variety of gearboxes that each have their own best application. We'll go over some of these today. In FRC, we're allowed a certain number of motors and most of them spin very quickly. So to get the speeds we need for certain mechanisms, such as drivetrains, elevators, arms, and intakes, we need to change the speed and torque of those motors to suit the applications. We have a couple examples here, but there are literally hundreds of different kinds of gearboxes you can use on your robot. Depending on the tasks in the game, you may need parts to spin very slowly with a high amount of torque, or very quickly with not as much torque. Most of the motors we're allowed to use spin very quickly with very little torque, and their output shafts aren't always the easiest to adapt to the components you want to be actually spinning. Some common examples of gearbox use in FRC are drivetrain gearboxes, where you're putting four to six motors worth of power into your wheels, Intake gearboxes, where you're spinning a roller very quickly to pull the game pieces into your robot. Arm or elevator gearboxes, where you need to move quite a bit of mass and usually have a lot of torque to do that. And shooter motors, where you're spinning a wheel very quickly to expel the game pieces from your robot. This first gearbox is our Decimate gearbox. This one would be Pretty good for a shooter motor, but the cool thing about this one is it has the same output geometry as a sim motor or a neo motor, and you can bolt this up to a gearbox that accepts one of those and use it to put the power of two redline motors into where you would normally only be able to put one sim or one neo. This gearbox here is a 100 to 1 reduction and it can accept inputs from 775s, 550s, and SIMs or NEOs, so most of the popular motors in FRC. The 100 to 1 reduction indicates that the output shaft will be going 100 times slower than the original motor was going, but also have 100 times more torque. So it'll be able to move a lot more weight, but it's gonna be slower doing it. As you can see, a small rotation of the output shaft makes the input spin quite quickly, and the inverse is also true. These two gearboxes are primarily used in drivetrains. So they'll accept two SIM slash NEO motors. They go in like this, and as the motor spins, you can see the output shaft spins, but not quite as quickly. Drivetrains are usually, usually have a reduction between five and 15 to one, and that's just a function of how fast the motors that were provided spin compared to how fast we want to be able to drive the robots. Um, these also have half inch hex output shafts. That's a very popular size in FRC. We have many wheels and hubs that will fit onto a half inch hex shaft and let you bolt to other items that are, that are this bolt circle. There are a variety of different gearboxes that you can use in FRC. We've shown some examples here, but there are many others, such as right angle gearboxes, where the motor input is perpendicular to the output shaft. Those are good for tight locations. There are also worm drive gearboxes that have a very high reduction in a small package, but aren't always as strong as these gearboxes. You can also design custom gearboxes using our gears and shafts for your own applications. And that's how you pick a gearbox for FRC.